Engineering innovations touch all aspects of our lives, from medical applications to better education to a cleaner environment. The UCLA Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science is at the forefront of engineering, developing the tools that will transform the world around us. Reflecting the high quality of our endeavors, the school was awarded two additional externally funded interdisciplinary research centers, bringing the total number housed at UCLA Engineering to seven. The new NIH Nanomedicine Development Center for Cell Control is directed by Professor Shi Ming Ho and will focus on creating new treatments for diseases by manipulating molecular circuitries in cells. As an NRI National Institute of Excellence, UCLA's Western Institute of Nanoelectronics is one of the world's largest joint research programs focusing on spintronics. When the semiconductor consortium was concerned about the future of the semiconductor industry upon scaling beyond a Moore's law, spintronics became one of the most important things to be investigated because the spintronics represents a phase transition which may operate at room temperature at a much smaller scale compared to CMOS. The way I think about spintronics is that we are using something else to encode information and that is the spin of an electron. Instead of having an electron move which dissipates power, you're using the electron, its angular momentum, its spin to encode information. Wind uh, was established and this went through the state of California and major educational institutions including UCLA of course, Stanford, Berkeley and UC Santa Barbara. We believe these sets of universities have a unique strength in spintronics which we believe particularly with uh, outstanding uh, faculty members and the students we can push forward and forge new kinds of nanoelectronics in the future. UCLA Engineering's work goes well beyond the laboratory into the community where our students, faculty and staff are working with K-12 teachers and students to increase awareness of engineering and science. A leader in outreach and support activities, UCLA Engineering is building on many years of success in serving underrepresented communities to develop the intellectual capital of the future. The school and its partners are committed to widening the pipeline of future engineers and scientists through a range of programs and activities. I'm currently the first vice president of the National Society of Black Engineers, NSBE. It's the largest student-run organization in the country with over 18,000 members right now. At UCLA, NSBE plays a vital role. We hold outreach events once a quarter uh, that target middle school, high school, and elementary school students. Uh, at these events, we introduce the students to engineering and let them know what that is. The Center for Excellence in Engineering Diversity is mainly the reason why I came to UCLA. They helped establish my relationship with UCLA. They made it possible for me to attend by the way of scholarships. Being a part of SEED, it's kind of like having a second family. Once I heard about Rise Up, uh, I said why not? It would be a great experience for me. Coming from a community college, I didn't have the experience nor the background in research or working in an engineering industry. I started working for Professor Mohamed Abdu under Daniel Pep's mentoring. You just never know what's going to happen when you walk in into a laboratory, which is really exciting. It's nice to see a final result. In research, it's, you feel like you've really achieved something and you've done something. The Engineering Science Corps is an outreach program that we have here at the School of Engineering where our engineering students are um, serving as online tutors for various high schools throughout the Los Angeles area in physics, um, computer science classes, and any level of math. They can basically tutor from any computer here on campus, at home, whether they have an hour a day or an hour a week, whatever it is, we're able to match these groups of people together and, and the outcome is wonderful. We're hoping to increase the numbers of women and underrepresented students here at the School of Engineering. I tutored for the Honors Trade class at Mayfield. It's an all-girl Catholic school in Pasadena. The questions were about uh, basically their homework. I'd give them little hints that maybe helped me. Try not to give them the answer so that 
they maybe could figure it out on their own and remember it better. Our faculty and students are also firmly committed to engineering new technologies to improve the world around us. One such faculty member, Jennifer Jay, received a Presidential Early Career Award for scientists and engineers for her research. We're interested in the fate of disease-causing organisms or pathogens in the environment. Uh, we do know that they're emitted from storm drains and that they eventually will die in the water. It's possible that they can survive longer in sand because the sand offers them a kind of protective environment. We looked at 13 beaches, 11 open to the ocean, and then two enclosed beaches. And the results from that study were that the two enclosed beaches had much, much higher levels, 1,000 to 10,000 times higher levels of bacteria in the sand than all 11 of the other beaches. So that really helped us understand that it probably is the physical nature of the beach that can be quite important. Now we're interested in seeing how other pathogens really do persist in the sand. UCLA Engineering is also partnering with world leaders in education and testing to develop new classroom tools for young students. The goal of this project is to uh, come up with a fair way to assess children in different linguistic backgrounds. It seemed to be an extremely interesting prospect with co collaborating with the School of Engineering to be able to figure out ways in which we can get information about children's reading into the hands of teachers. Throughout, we've had a group of expert teachers working with us, and their feedback has been critical, I think, to the development of the whole tool. If a teacher or a speech recognition system has difficulty understanding certain accents, uh, they may label the child as having reading difficulty, whereas, in fact, it was just an issue of uh, mispronunciation. We are also collaborating with experts in medicine to develop new applications for prevention, surgery, and recovery. We started talking to various uh, medical doctors on campus. So in collaborating with them in the past three to four years, we have made a number of inventions that they feel it's important to their field. One of the projects is for a spinal cord injury patients. This is in collaboration with Professor Edgerton. He's a very well-known uh, neuroscientist. We have built these hand grip devices connected with wireless tiny computers that patients could take home. They can practice with this and all the data is transmitted to their doctor wirelessly. She or he at the end of the day could go back and see how the patient is doing and if needed they could change the test that they have given their patient. They have talked to a number of hand doctors and they feel that the recovery could go from six months all the way to weeks with such devices. The research focus of my lab has been on active materials. And active materials really convert energy from one source to another used in very unique applications. The heart valve we're working on is a pediatric heart valve. We're making a device now that you can put in a really small catheter. You can snake it in a pediatric patient where the arteries and veins are very small up to that damaged heart valve and deploy it. So by doing this percutaneously, you've eliminated those open heart procedures. I think an engineering school would have a very difficult time doing it on their own. What's made this possible is actually interactions between the School of Engineering myself and Dr. Levy, a pediatric cardiologist. Through innovative partnerships with world-class researchers in other disciplines, our talented faculty and students are creating new technologies that will change the world. UCLA Engineering's commitment to service and to the future extends into the community where we are helping to develop tomorrow's engineers and scientists. UCLA Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science. Transforming our lives.